so, you all got to meet my wife earlier tonight. She's my favorite person in the world. And it's, it's true. I don't say that to elicit an awe. It's absolutely true. When I was a little boy, I remember talking to my dad. And uh, I said, Dad, who's your best friend? And my dad says, your mother. And I was like, oh, I get it. <laughs> you have to say that on account of like she provides the food and stuff. But <laughs> come on, really, like who's your best friend, Dad? Really, your mother is my best friend. She's not even here, like you're wasting it. <laughs> my dad said I would understand when I was older. And he was right. Um, Anne and I have been together for 16 years. We've been married for 13 of those 16 years. We've raised two kids together. Um, thank you. And um, she is absolutely my best friend. Uh, she is, uh, our, our relationship is, it's really awesome. It's a partnership. And we complement each other really, really well. And uh, uh, there, are, there are areas where like, I can do a thing that, that she can't do, like computer stuff. And there are areas where she does stuff that I can't do, like everything else. <laughs> and, um, and I'm just, I'm really lucky. And uh, uh, I see every now and then on Twitter, I see someone say, you know, my dream is to someday have a, a, a relationship like the one that Ann and Will have. And that is the, the most amazing thing ever. Uh, because I remember when I was a kid, you know, I would see like fake romances and be like, oh man, I want to have, I want, I want that. That's what I want. And then I thought, you know what, those just, those things don't really happen. And it turns out that they do. Um, and I want to tell you a couple of stories that sort of, uh, uh, I think paint a picture of our, uh, our relationship, of our friendship and of our marriage. So uh, uh, the first of those stories is called Triple Word Score. Um, <laughs> somebody is excited about that. I guess we can take you out of the Nash Morton line. Um, <laughs> uh, I am a gamer. I love gaming. It is, uh, I love it. Of all the things that make me a nerd, there are a lot of things that make me a nerd. Nothing brings me more joy and is more important to who I am than gaming. That's why I created a show you may have seen called Tabletop. <laughs> and uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, ask the person next to you and then go give us all the thumbs up. Uh, so uh, every now and then, Ann and I play games. And uh, she doesn't really play, not, no, not those games that I, not those games that I don't quite know how to play yet. All right, I'm good at those games, you guys. Seriously, I have, I have a wardrobe full of robe and wizard hats. True story. Um, somebody roll to see if I'm getting drunk. Um, so, uh, uh, but Anne doesn't really play nerd games with me very much. She'll play Settlers of Catan, and, uh, and we play the shit out of Cards Against Humanity. Um, uh, and, uh, and, and, and she loves um, uh, all, of the, like, uh, all of the sort of social games, but you know, like, I'm never gonna get her into a game of Eclipse. It's just not her speed. But Anne loves Scrabble. I hate Scrabble. I hate it so much. But, uh, but we play it anyway, and that's what the story is about. Anne is one of those Scrabble players who regularly scores between 350 and 400 in a two-player game. Seriously. Anne is to Scrabble as Chris Hardwick is to bowling. Anne is to Scrabble as Charles Carrion is to being a giant douchebag. Anne is to Scrabble as Mitt Romney is to lying. Yeah. She is good at it. I, on the other hand, am one of the Scrabble players who is lucky to break 150 points without opening the dictionary to find out if this weird collection of hieroglyphics in front of me can somehow be assembled into a legal word that is more complicated than something you find in a typical entry-level Dick and Jane book. 
I do not provide even a nominal challenge, and where the average player would appear, experience something akin to fun while playing a game, I experience something more like incredible fucking frustration. <laughs> but Anne insists that we play together. She says, making words is fun. <laughs> Oblivious to my failure to use all my letters even once in the decade we've been playing. <laughs> but because Anne will put up with me describing everything in the world in role-playing game terms, for example, oh God, some asshole cast freezing cloud outside. I thought I'd have picked up some resist cold with all my trips to Seattle, but I just took D8 damage going 15 feet to the garage and back, and I keep failing my saves even though I'm back in the house and I have a plus four blanket of not being cold on. True story. The very least I can do is provide some companionship while she makes the Scrabble board and me her bitch. <laughs> this is written incidentally around Christmas, in, uh, around 2007. For several months I've been able to avoid the humiliation of putting my scrabular impotence on full display, but when she asked me to play last night after dinner, her breathtaking beauty illuminated only by the twinkle lights on our tree and the flickering glow of our fireplace, I failed to save versus charm and went directly to our game closet. I looked past games that would be fun for me to play, like Battle Lore, Carcassonne, Guillotine, Awful Green Things from Outer Space, Uno, <laughs> Enslaved by her spell, I pulled Scrabble off the shelf and took it to the living room. Our dogs curled up on the floor next to us as we began to play. I drew an X from the bag. She drew an E. Of course she did. It was an unnecessary harbinger of things to come. She went first and instantly took a 20-point lead. I scored seven. Almost twice my usual opening score. Four or five turns later, she played sexy for a triple word score, and I never, ca and I never caught up. It was a blowout. I was Custer at Little Bighorn, Varro at Kane, the Broncos in Super Bowl 24. Ooh, sports ball. With about 20 tiles remaining in the bag, I saw a chance to draw within 40 points. I had Q-I-E-E-B. <laughs> Fuck you, Scrabble. <laughs> After I'd played an ineffectual two letters for a humiliating three points. I knew that if I reached into the bag and drew a T, N, or R, I could place the Q on a triple word score, build off the U in fugue, and make quiet, queer, or queen. I drew the T, and I held my breath. For Murphy's Law of Scrabble is that with 85 potential places to play, my wife will play in the one place that leaves me thoroughly fucked. Anne put down two tiles, building off the F in feud, and blocking me. Are you fucking serious? I said. It's a bundle of sticks, she said. I know what it is! <laughs> but you couldn't have made wag? Or tag, or nag, or hag? I pointed to four of the 85 potential other places she could have played on the board. I'm sorry, she said. Do you want me to play in a different place? It'll be the same score. <laughs> this is how it always is when we play games together. She is a competitive. She is blissfully unaware of my anguish as I attempt to match her score. She doesn't know that I consider it a small moral victory if she doesn't double my score. <laughs> no, I said, I'll find another place to play. I need your pity. <laughs> I put my tiles down. That'll be two points. <laughs> Again. She recorded my score. I noted that she wasn't doubling my score by 10 points. And I resolved to close the gap. I failed. With only a U and an I to play, I was down by over 100 points, and I just wanted the game to be over. You know, like in the second turn of Descent. For the 10 of you that get that joke, it's very, very funny. 
because it's very true. Okay, I play the you here and I make Vux, I said. What's Vux, she asked. Oh, you don't know? It's what it's called when you suck so hard at Scrabble that you just make up a word so the fucking game can be over. <laughs> Using a sentence, my wife kicked my ass so hard I just went for the Vux. She looked at me and slowly shook her head. I took the tile off the board and replaced it with the I. Vix, she said. Yeah, Vix is what it's called when you try to Vux and your wife cock blocks you. <laughs> like, well, I tried to Vux, but my wife totally Vixed me. <laughs> she looked at me again and she laughed. I joined her. I concede, I said, you are the ultimate master of Scrabble. She leaned over the board and kissed me. Thanks for playing with me, she said. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Our gaming philosophy is very simple. It's not about winning or losing. It's about enjoying the time that we spend playing a game together. This is why Anne puts up with my vuxing. And I keep coming back for more, even when she vixes me. I think you've dropped something. Is this googly eye yours? <laughs> <laughs>